Welcome to the Nerds Who Swing Podcast. Welcome to the Nerds Who Swing Podcast. I'm Margo. And I'm Miller. You can find us everywhere where you would find like a normal podcast. A iTunes. Normal podcast. Yeah. <laughs> they have normal ones and sexy they ones. Do. They have them all. This is in the sexy iTunes department. You yeah. can find us anywhere. Just search Nerds Who Swing, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. You can find us. Twitter everywhere? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We're all the places. We are everywhere you want us to be. And you, well, I mean. <laughs> or we could be. There's that. <laughs> yeah. Email us at nerdswhoswing at gmail.com. Yeah. yeah. Email questions. Yeah. Comments. Send in pictures and you can be on our logo. That's right. Every episode we have a contest where you could be in the Nerds Who Swing logo. Go to our Instagram page and you can find all the past winners yeah. of every episode. They're not all me or no, you. You there are, are in some and I'm in some, but yeah. that was like the first couple episodes. Yeah. Now we have all of our sex- sexy listeners. It's so awesome. Giving us their pictures. It's, it's really, amazing. really good. Yeah. Now and then they're too sexy, but that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. I sometimes have to put the words over the titties just so you don't see the nipples, but <laughs> yeah. that's okay. <laughs> Keep sending in those nipples, ladies. Send us your nipples. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Nerds Who Swing podcast. Thanks for listening. Margo, what's up? We went to a party the other day. Finally. I know. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> so between the new boobs, mm-hmm. just life and Travel. traveling. Um, it's been a travel even like, year. Even like I had a book that came out. Mm-hmm. Like all those things made it like impossible to like um, do anything lifestyle, it felt like. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Totally. And then even when there was things, it was like just on days that would make no sense. I like agree. we, we like, just couldn't make happen yeah. for whatever it's reason. It's like, oh great, we can get a babysitter for Monday night. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. I don't think the club and is And that open. babysitter's gonna yeah. have to do dance with the and also yeah. do you know, it yeah. just doesn't work. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Sometimes this time of year feels just kind of bonkers. But the end of the year gets a little crazy with like little bit. recitals so, and yeah. tournaments and everything. Yeah. Which is awesome. I love our vanilla life. It's don't get me very wrong. fun. But, but everybody's like, does, let's have a barbecue. Yeah. And that's also great. Yeah. But it just ends up where you're like but it's like with but vanilla we have friends. Other people and with, we need to see. Yeah. <laughs> also with the surgery and stuff, yeah. there's sort of a built in chunk of time where yeah. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go. Yeah, exactly. To well it's you feel Whereas like vanilla friends you're like it's Fine. Yeah, they don't care. They don't, just don't they, hug me too hard. <laughs> right. And they might not even notice or whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's yeah, just different. I agree. Well, and even for me, like I had to do like marketing stuff for the book mm-hmm. and everything. And you're just not in the same like mental space yeah. where it's like I spend my day thinking about how can I best market this instead of like, I wonder and, if we should go out tonight and or, do your regular job and be yeah. a good husband and be a good dad yeah, and so be it's all like, that stuff. Only so it much gets to like 10 time. at night and you're like... Oh my god! Yeah. Oh shoot! We haven't like <laughs> kick messaged anybody that we've known in like a I month. Know. We've dropped off the face of the earth there yeah. for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Not due to lack of interest, just no. due to other stuff coming to yeah. the surface and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. We did have a few people who were like, "Everything good?" Oh really? Yeah. Well, even at the party, they were yeah, like, they were like, "What happened to yeah, you?" Yeah, we haven't seen you forever. Yeah. It was. We thought you were dead. <laughs> yeah. We did a funeral. It was a whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but, but they... we got invited to this house party for a yeah. birthday. We've been I invited guess. to a couple house parties, but yeah. we haven't been able to like successfully to go. Like, go to one yet. In in yeah, quite which a I while. think was one of our goals for the year was to go to a oh, house party. Check. So yeah, that's nice. Good job. Well, and it was it had only been I guess seven six seven weeks since my surgery, which is right. obviously plenty of time. I'm sure there's like women listening where it's like, uh, you're fine. Go out. And I yeah. get it totally. Um, maybe I was just a little bit nervous and the whole kind of, I needed new bras and I don't know what outfit yep. can I wear with this? And then there was a theme and then how do I make that work? Anyways, right. whatever. Yeah. But it was so great. Um, yeah. I'm super glad we went. I think it's easy to be really nervous when you yep. haven't gone to something in a long time. Right. And we definitely were. Yeah, because we, we did an episode a while ago with talking like gaps between lifestyle events. Yeah, and this was like this a This was probably gap. our biggest gap yeah. um, that we've ever had. Like a couple months. Yeah, and it was, like... It was 
It was noticeably big. <laughs> it was because I felt really nervous before. Mm-hmm. Not because of anything like that we might do, but like just going to talk to people. It's like in that, sure. you know, kind of environment. Like, you I, mean before like like a year ago or something before? Or you mean before this party? Before this party in particular. Oh, I yeah. was nervous. Yeah, yeah, I like, agree. Where and I, then you I, may, when you're nervous, which is totally allowed, yeah. but I get more nervous Yeah, as well. But I wasn't nervous in that like, for anything that we might do mm-hmm. at the party. Like, I wasn't nervous, like, how am I going to feel when she's kissing somebody else? Oh, it's like, yeah. I know how I'm going to feel when you're awesome. kissing somebody else. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, it was... But it was like... Yeah. I... It's like, kind of, like, making small talk is difficult for me sometimes because mm-hmm. I'm an introvert. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a little bit harder. So I have to, like, push myself to talk to people. Otherwise... Yeah. I'll, and there was only like, going to be... Th- three people there that we knew right. very well, which is also... It can be, especially two of them were the tough. hosts of Yeah, so they get, they're get busy. They're the they're stars of the stuff. show, They're doing stuff. You right? can't expect them to spend the whole night talking to you. No, they which shouldn't. you would never <laughs> expect. Of course not. So you know going in, they're like, well, if this is going to be a fun night, I'm going to have to talk to other yeah, people. Yeah, I'm going to have to mesh with other which is like, people. Obviously, it's why you're going to this event. <laughs> exactly. But that doesn't mean that it's easy for, like, for me to go yeah. to something like this and you know feel comfortable before. For sure. Absolutely. Um, I think that's very fair. And it has absolutely nothing to do with whether you want to go no. or whether you want to see these people or whether yeah. you, because of course you do. But sometimes it is that yeah. you just got to jump. You just got to do it and, and we, go. We decided, I, which I think rightfully so for us, because I think one of the things is if you've been in a gap for a while, it's easy to keep the gap going <laughs> sure. between events where it's easy to be like, Let's just go see John Wick instead. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard he kills a few people in the movie. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. You know, like it's easy to just go do that instead of going to the house party. Well, everything in life, it's always going to be easier to stay at home in your jammies. Right. So I feel like, like it is. Yeah. So like a week before the party, when we found out that we would have for sure the opportunity go. to go like a rock solid. Yeah. Way to we go, were like, oh, OK, like, we can go if we want to. And we were deciding if we wanted to go, like if you were comfortable with going and everything. And you yeah, decided really you were. not really deciding to go. Just not deciding in the sense that we didn't want no, to. No, no, but deciding if you were yes. comfortable with going. Like that would be our first lifestyle thing right. since you had your like enhancement. Yeah. And for me, this <laughs> yeah. is not for everybody. I wasn't comfortable going out unless I was comfortable with playing. Right. Like you feel like you had to be at least a little bit, like mm-hmm. not necessarily like 100% like... Yeah, but I'm sure some people go kind out. Of play, but like you yeah. had to feel comfortable enough that like if somebody touches my boob, I'm not. I need to not like start crying after. <laughs> start crying. <laughs> no, but I'm sure some people play much earlier, and they're just yeah. more open about like, hey, be gentle with me, or I have like tape here or something, and that's mm-hmm. great. Go for it. Yeah. For me, I just I needed to feel comfortable enough that things sort of were looking okay, and yeah. that I had. Like, I don't want to keep going back to the bra situation, but right. it's like a weird well, new thing a Compression bra isn't necessarily a sex, sexy thing. I don't think you, I think you take all the word necessarily. Yeah. It isn't a sexy thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But I just didn't, I uh, wanted listen, to be I've able to. I've taken a couple compression bras off in my <laughs> time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And not once did you want to do it with your teeth. No. <laughs> so yeah. it's not really. <laughs> I just, I wanted to be open to things and yeah. it didn't, anyway. You just had, had to feel comfortable to with that, that happening. If Whether was, it did or not, you had to feel comfortable. For me, I needed with it. to have I needed to know that that would at least be an option yeah. for me. And if it wasn't, I don't think I would have been ready to go out. But that's right. that's just me. Right. Maybe so that's like, super weird and that's, that's the fine. decision we were kind of making beforehand. Yeah. So we decided we were going to go because you felt comfortable, yeah. because everything else lined up. And because we really like the hosts. And we do really like the hosts. They're really yeah. awesome. They're great. And and I felt we've been invited to other stuff from them before, yeah. and I felt bad that we couldn't go. I agree. Because they're great. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they're yeah. so great. You're joking. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay. No, they are, like, really great. So yeah. it was cool that they invited us and everything, and we got to go. Um, but we sent them, like, a message, like, a week before saying, like, we're, we're going. Coming. In a way to, f- like, I don't mean force is the wrong word, but to, like, make ourselves so that we can't, like. We can't bail. We can't back out. Yeah. Which isn't something we wanted to do anyways. No, I wanted to go very much. I think, at least for me, I found it, like, because I was so nervous, 
Yeah. I could have been like, well, maybe we should just stay home. Well, right. maybe, you know, like, well, again, there's new episodes of Brooklyn Nine Nine on Netflix. Maybe we should watch some. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? watch Free Solo again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. I, I get it. And when I say, like, it's always easier to stay home in jammies, I don't mean it's better. No. I don't mean it's, it's just, more fun. Yeah. It's just easy because yeah. you don't the only person I have to talk to is you and that's right. easy right. and I don't have to like impress anybody or it's like yeah. it just doesn't matter but it also doesn't like we're good yeah. already so that's great but it doesn't really get you anywhere at no. least in the lifestyle like you can't complain about wanting to meet new people if you don't go out there and try <laughs> to meet new people exactly. it's not fair yeah. like what people are supposed to find you at, yeah. at like knock on your door and like that doesn't make sense yeah so if jeez our cats are like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god we're gonna have cat interruptions yeah yeah, yeah. there well there's a box and if there's a box they, they, have, they have to, to be in the box in yeah. and they have to like fight in the box and cuddle yeah. in the box and anyways yeah um anyway yeah. we were willing ourselves to go yeah and i don't want to say forcing because it makes it sound like we don't want no, to no but I it, super it was nice to. to kind of like in a weird way say it like before like we're we're gonna go on this day. Yeah, it's it, happening. It's like a deadline that we had to hit. We, like we have <laughs> to go of. on this day. Kind we of. wanted to go, but much, yeah. it's nice to have that kind of like little like yeah. Well, we said we're going, so we have to go. Yeah, kind of thing. And um, are you glad we went? I am glad we went. Me too. It was yeah. So fun. Spoilers, we went. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we went. Yeah, and it was great. It was great. It was really fun. It was really nice. We met some yeah. awesome people. Our hosts know some cool people. Very cool, actually. And even we met some people. Um, more than I don't know how, how yeah. to say that like people that we'd maybe seen around we yeah. like actually I would say half the people there we had seen stuff. at other events yeah. before Hear but didn't one. talk to exactly um, events are great but they're also huge there's yeah, so many like people like hotel takeover kind of things you but this was nice there was maybe what like 15 people maybe 20 maybe 20 max. and honestly like half them we might have seen before but not talked to mm-hmm but everyone, every person I talked to was really cool. Agreed. Totally. Like so some nice. people I got to talk to more than others, mm-hmm. but I feel like at every point in the night I had some sort of interaction with every single person at the party and they were, and all, they were all very cool. I completely agree. Yeah. Yeah. Like totally. I would, every person that was at the party, I would like chat, chat with, with again yeah. or like well, go on awesome. a date with or and see a hotel the thing event. Like for people who yeah. are listening, it might feel easier in a weird way to go to a club especially if you're feeling like nervous or something Mm -hmm. because um then it's just you and your spouse right Right. you and your partner are at a club and whatever does or doesn't happen right whatever um and this is more intimate somehow because it's 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 like a party so you're you're more sort of like forced into a room together or whatever to talk to people but it's so good because these people are like heavily vetted yeah. <laughs> before they get there. Well, right. really, like, if you're friends with the host yeah. and they're awesome, do you think they're going to invite a bunch of people who are not awesome? Right. Obviously not. They're fantastic. They invited yeah. fantastic people. Yeah. And we got to meet these fantastic people. Like, yeah, it makes exactly. so much sense once you're kind of there and it's all happening yeah. and people are, like, normal, chill, cool people. Yeah. That it's like, well, obviously this was a really yeah. great idea. It yeah, was just exactly. different, I guess, than what we had experience before we've yeah. kind of done like the big takeovers or yeah. the little like club nights and yeah. not really so much in between and i just thought it was great yeah i agree it was cool because we hung out like outside on this patio like Beautiful. all night other than the mosquitoes but that's not something oh the hosts can control we're like covered in mosquito I, know. <laughs> I have so many but that's not their fault yeah no, no. they hosted a great pl- party yeah. i loved their house i loved their yard they mm-hmm. did such a good job they yeah. had like snacks and drinks drinks and and play spots and anyway they did great they were great i agree i was super happy to like see them again and stuff and we met some like legit really cool people yeah we did a lot of smooching we did kiss a lot of people and honestly they were all really good kissers Mm -hmm. and i kind of want to kiss them all again (laughs) (laughs) that's good i like because you kiss like all a bunch of like the ladies and I kissed them too, but I also got to kiss their dudes. So I yeah. did like twice as much kissing as you, which is like not to brag, but you know, <laughs> I totally did. <laughs> mm. Challenge accepted. Sorry. Yeah. Next, next twice hotel takeover is going to be like a competition. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. It's like, listen, I know you don't want to kiss me, but Logan. I'm in a competition with Margot, and you got to kiss me right now. <laughs> but you have to get all the ladies to not kiss me too. Then, yeah. I'll be like, listen, she's going to come around. Don't kiss her. Let's I just got- kiss. And I got to move on. I don't have time to explain this. We got to go. <laughs> I got twice as many numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. 
That's like the one way in which it pays know, off to right? be a lady. That's the one way. That's true. <laughs> yeah. It's the only thing. Yeah. yeah. Not that dudes can't. I just mean yeah. in, in general yeah. at these events. I'm just going to have to start kissing all the guys at the events. I, I mean, yeah, listen, I mean, we both don't want this, but I need the number. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it yeah. was funny because like when we got to the hotel, or hotel nope. to the party, yep. we chatted with the host a bit and that was all cool. And people started slowly coming. And we didn't, because we didn't know that many um, people mm-hmm. at the event, it felt a little bit like, once other people started showing up, it was like, it had this kind of like funny, like, I felt like throughout the night there was kind of like a, not a roller coaster, because that's too big of ups and downs, but it's okay. kind of like other people show up that know each other, oh, and yeah. their initial reaction is to talk to each other, because they know each other, obviously. Of course, of course. You go to a party, you talk to the people you know first. So it felt like in the middle of the night, like it started off like, oh, well, we know the hosts. We're talking with them and then other people show up and we didn't talk to as many people for like a little bit in the middle because they were talking to each other because they know each other. Yeah. Obviously. So that's when you have to go grab someone and chat with them, which is the part that's hard for Which is like there was a point where we kind of did that Yeah, where you started talking to some people and I started talking to some people and then things kind of got to like, yeah, oh, well, now I can kiss this person or yeah, yeah yeah i think it's interesting for sure because like even just at like a vanilla like party mm-hmm. or whatever birthday party barbecue something like that yeah. inevitably when there's people there that you don't know yeah and those aren't generally not the first people you gravitate to and has nothing to do with the fact that no, they're like doesn't have anything to do people, with them at all but, or you it's just yeah but i just i just found it interesting yeah. that like there were for sure moments where it's like okay well they know each other so maybe i won't talk with them right and then like Within half an hour, that person is coming up to me and talking to me and flirting with me and right. I'm, whatever. Yeah. And it's like, okay, that's awesome. So yeah. I think sometimes you write a bit of a story in your head, not yeah. just you, but no. people, about like, oh, well, they're friends. So then they're not going to come talk to me. And it's like, right. that is not actually what's happening no. here. You thought that that might, in your yeah. head, that's well, how you, you wrote that. you don't know who knows people either. Where right. it's like, if you see two people like super flirting. Yeah. Like not long after they've been there where they're like kissing and touching each other. And you're like, like, wow, they're like, I am falling behind because (laughs) they just met and like they're on like up or almost a third base like out here on the patio. But they're not because they've known each other and like been chasing each other for like six months. while. Yeah, exactly. So like you don't know what you don't know. Right. But it's also think about if you walk into a room of 15 people Mm -hmm. and you know 13 of them. Right even like in a lifestyle event is the first thing you're going to do in front of the entire group, like pick out the two new people and be like, Hey, by the way, super attracted to you. Thank you. Real cute. Let's talk later. Yeah. Of course not. No. Cause that's insane. Yeah. Like you're going to talk to the people, you know, you might smile, say, Hey, introduce yeah. yourself, whatever, but that's just not how it's going to go. Yeah. So you have to give people time to like, say hey to the people that they know, chit chat, whatever else. Yeah. And then eventually like you find yourself in a room with like this person you've never met before. And our experience is always good. Like it yeah. always ends up good. I know. It's just, there might be a moment of like, what did I want them to like walk in the room and beeline towards me so that well, I know their intentions? I, yeah. That's absurd. I and mean, I don't know why no we both, I think do it. We're like during the event or before the event, the event, the yeah. uh, event, the <laughs> event, yes, the event <laughs> okay. that we go to. Yeah. I don't even know what accent yeah, that I don't is. Either. We, German yeah. Swedish? It's, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of both. Yeah. Oh, it's, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That we both like. Good at accents, this, not on your resume. No, it's not, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, we both think like. We get nervous. We get nervous and we get in our heads like, well, nobody's going to like us. Isn't that dumb? Nobody's going to talk to us. That? I'm. I don't know, but I think everybody else feels the same way. That's what when I always you go tell there when you're you. like, nobody's going to like us. Yeah. Or like, oh, look at these people talking to each other. Yeah. Nobody likes us. But that we've left every single event. Yeah. E- and I mean it literally. Every single Everyone. event feeling not that way. No. We leave feeling like, oh, everybody was awesome. We talked to everybody. Exactly. Like, I don't it's- know why we think like going to things that like we're gonna have nobody to talk to everybody's gonna like not i think like us. part of it it's the long gaps in between yeah because it probably. gives your brain time to go crazy yeah and then because there's even things where i'm like critiquing my outfit down to like yeah this stupid detail and then like literally nobody cares mm-hmm. 
I don't do that to the other people that are there. Yeah. I'm just like, Why wow, she's yeah. gorgeous. I'm not going like, but does this matter? Like, of course not, because yeah. no normal, non-psychotic human being yeah. does that. Exactly. Like, of course not. But it's like, I don't know. It's just easy to get really overly critical of yourself, yeah. I think, because... Sometimes our opportunities to go out are really few and far between. Yeah. And so we like need it to be perfect. Right. Or like it has to go well. But it's like, no, it doesn't. Yeah. And and also it will. Yeah. It, it always has. I have never once left feeling less confident about my appearance or our interaction with right. people. I've, I've never left feeling worse. I've always no. left feeling better. Yeah. And yet if I could, I just need to remember to tell myself that in the two hours before the party happens. Yeah. It's hard to... I know. Get that in there. And I'm sure but. we're probably going to, before the next event, we're probably going to feel the same way. Yeah, Anyways, probably. And then leave feeling like, why were we thinking that? Again, it feels like a lesson we're going to learn over, over and, and over and over and over. Maybe one of the times it'll stick. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. The- I do think events closer together are like that. Like if we yeah, go out you, this weekend, right. we would we're have, on like a high We'd have like more confidence. If, absolutely. And like, yeah. yeah. I mean... You know, the overriding goal would probably be not to have your self-esteem, yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> sitting yeah. on the brink of, like, yeah. whether or not this yeah. person talks to me at a party. Yeah. But, you know, that's more of, like, an internal yeah. goal that we'll work on. <laughs> so, yeah. no, it's not to that level. I'm no. just joking. But yeah, you want to be accepted yeah. in the lifestyle. You want people to find right. you attractive. You want people to flirt with you, all that kind of stuff. Right. And then when it happens, you're like, right, mm-hmm. I fit in here. Right. And just, then you can just be, Yeah, you don't have to like sweat everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, great party. It was a great party. It was fun to see you like when we're not like sitting right next to each other and I can look across and see you talking to some people and like you can see me talking to some people. It's kind of a cool experience where it's nice. like, I can see you over there talking and like you guys are laughing and having a good time. Oh, good. And it's like, oh, well, that's cool. Like she's having a good time. That's nice. Yeah. Cool. So. Yeah, so it was a good party. It was. We did kiss a lot of people. Yeah. It's funny because it's like you're talking with somebody and you're like, I hope they're like, they're enjoying this conversation and everything. Yeah. And then like you kind of go to say goodbye to people at the end of the night and they're like, we should kiss first. Yeah. And I'm like, goodbyes are long. Oh, that conversation was good then. That's good. Goodbyes are so long. Like, I think I'm going to head out. I'm like, well, we didn't make out yet. Okay, well, let's do that first. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it's very funny. It's We can even use it as like a first time going out with the new boobs. Right. You being like unsure about it and stuff. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then we will. All right. Let's just have a podcast of silence. <laughs> the sound of yeah. silence. Do you feel relaxed? <laughs> oh, I feel creeped out. That'd yeah. be eerie. I don't, it would be. I don't care about that. I would that. be eerie? No, that would be. It's just complete silence? Yeah, don't do that. Okay. I don't like your <laughs> false, soothing voice. It's creepy. It's not false. It's it's, it's very soothing. Ugh, I don't like it. Everybody likes it. Nobody likes it. Everybody says I have the People most soothing voice out. ever. Oh. Yes, they do. No, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> the heebie-jeebies. Okay. <laughs>